Previously, Akane was dating her boyfriend, who decided to leave her after falling in love with another girl in an online game. Shocked at this, Akane feels depressed, but her friend Momo comforts her and asks her to move. One day, while playing an online game on her PC, she received an invitation for an offline event and decided to take revenge on her ex-boyfriend, realizing that he would arrive with her new girlfriend. Upon reaching the event, Akane decided to meet them but ended up falling to the ground. Suddenly Yamada, who is a pro gamer, approached her and helped her. Seeing his kind nature and good looks, Akane asked him to become his boyfriend, and he agreed. After waking up in a tank top and jeans, Akane was surprised to find Yamada in front of her. She was initially disturbed and asked if they had slept together, but Yamada replied coldly, telling her that he had only helped her when she was intoxicated and had taken her to his place instead of leaving her on the street. Akane realized that her dress had become soiled and was dressed in a tank top that Yamada had kindly washed for her. Feeling embarrassed, she quickly left Yamada's house. Later on, while taking a shower at home, Akane remembered the necklace that Takuma had given her, but she couldn't find it. She recalled leaving it at Yamada's place and decided to log into the online game, Forest of Savior, to chat with Rurichan, their guild master. While conversing with Rurichan, Akane also felt stressed about the missing necklace and remembered the moments when Takuma had given it to her. To her surprise, Yamada also appeared online in the game. Upon logging into the game, Rurichan welcomed Yamada with excitement and engaged him in a discussion about various in-game topics, causing Akane to feel like an outsider. Uncomfortable, Akane messaged Yamada privately about her missing necklace but he bluntly responded that he did not think it was at his place. He then changed the subject to the guild's storage, referring to the items as worthless and useless. Despite Rurichan's attempts to argue that the items could still be helpful, Yamada persisted in belittling them, claiming that they were taking up too much storage space. Akane began to feel ashamed about her contribution to the guild's storage and confessed to donating the items with the hope of helping others. However, Yamada continued to criticize them, dismissing their value and insisting that he would have to clean them out regularly. Rurichan tried to calm the situation and warned Yamada that his words could hurt Akane, who had contributed the most items to the storage. Despite Rurichan's attempts to defuse the situation, Yamada remained adamant in his criticism, causing Akane to exit the game and retreat to her bed feeling humiliated. Meanwhile, Yamada continued to scroll through the chat and inadvertently stepped on Akane's heart necklace, breaking it. Later, when she confided in her friend Momo about her nightmare of Takuma and his new girlfriend, Momo was dismissive and shifted the conversation to Akane's experience at Yamada's home. Despite Akane's focus on the missing necklace, Momo criticized her for being too hung up on her ex-boyfriend and suggested she move on. As Akane walked away from the scene of high school girls confessing to a popular boy, she couldn't help but recall the pain of being dumped by a senior named Saito. Yamada, who was part of the group, seemed to have forgotten about Akane, prompting her to offer him some advice on being more considerate of others' feelings instead of just playing games. Days later, Yamada contacted Akane to return the heart necklace that Takuma had given her but it ended up breaking during the handover at the train station. Initially, Akane was ready to discard the necklace, but Yamada caught up to her and gifted her an umbrella before leaving. Lying in bed, Akane pondered on Yamada's recent act of kindness and couldn't help but feel grateful. Shortly after, Akane's mother sent over some of her old belongings, which she had converted her room into an exercise area. In need of some help with cleaning up, Akane enlisted the aid of her friend Momo. While they were tidying up, they stumbled upon the broken necklace and Yamada's umbrella. After Akane disposed of her old belongings, including those given by her ex-boyfriend Takuma, she and her friend Momo went out for a barbecue dinner and ended up getting slightly intoxicated. Later that night, they went to Yamada's house to return his umbrella, which he found bothersome as it was almost midnight. 
Nonetheless, Akane took the opportunity to express her gratitude for Yamada's company at a recent offline gaming event. Yamada appeared indifferent about it, but before they parted ways he mentioned that their mutual friend Rurichan was worried about Akane's absence in the game. Akane assured him that she would log in as soon as she got home. As Akane was in the middle of a monster hunt, trying to defeat a creature alongside Yamada, the beast unexpectedly split into two after she struck it. When Akane called out to Yamada for help, she realized that his in-game character was unresponsive and not moving. Despite her repeated pleas for assistance, she was eventually attacked and killed by the monster they were supposed to be battling. It turned out that Yamada had fallen asleep at his desk in the real world. Akane and Momo found themselves on a group date with two men they didn't know. The man who was paired with Akane tried to strike up a conversation about mobile gaming, as he noticed her frequently checking her phone. However, Akane informed him that she actually played a PC game called Forest of Savior, which the man was not familiar with. Despite this, Akane seemed uneasy and silently signaled to Momo, who was engaged in a conversation with her own partner, that she wanted to leave. Using only eye contact and facial expressions, Akane conveyed her desire to exit the situation. Momo had set up the group date for Akane in the hopes of introducing her to a potential partner. However, Akane appeared agitated and preoccupied with her phone, leading to an awkward exchange with the man. Momo was disappointed that Akane's date didn't go well, but later learned that Akane had been distracted by messages from Ruri-chan. Momo expressed skepticism about Ruri's identity, suggesting that she might be a middle-aged man, but Akane insisted that Ruri was a high school girl. On their way home, Akane saw a cosplayer dressed like Ruri's character, which brought back memories of Princess Ruri. Once she got home, Akane eagerly logged into her game, feeling more enthusiastic about it than any romantic pursuits. She saw that only Yamada and Ruri were online, and watched as they chatted about their past experiences in their guild. Akane had a fleeting thought that Ruri and Yamada might have been in a romantic relationship, but she was invited to join them for a loot session. Later, Yamada had to leave, leaving only Akane and Ruri online. During this time, Akane had a flashback of her past relationship with Takuma and realized that Ruri and Yamada were similar to them. This revelation stirred up unfamiliar emotions within her. Meanwhile, Ruri and Yamada exchanged private messages, with Yamada ending with a See you later message to Ruri. The possibility of Yamada and Ruri being together occupied Akane's thoughts throughout the day even as she finished her class and ran into the man she was previously paired with during a group date, who also happened to be in the same lecture as her. He noticed Akane using her phone during class and greeted her enthusiastically. As they walked towards the bus station, Akane spotted a girl who resembled Ruri's in-game character. Yamada approached the girl and they walked away together, leaving Akane feeling perplexed. When she arrived home, she contemplated her thoughts and emotions. Meanwhile, Ruri sent her a message regarding the opening of a cafe themed after Forest of Savior and invited her and other guild members, including Yamada, whom Ruri had run into. Despite her doubts about the potential relationship between Yamada and Ruri, Akane accepted the invitation to verify their status. Upon waking up, Akane was feeling great, disregarding Momo's concerns about her meeting new people. She was thrilled to finally meet her guild members, particularly Yamada, who would also be present. She was close to the train station, which she often uses, and used her phone's map to locate the Forest of Savior-themed cafe that Ruri had mentioned. However, Akane got lost while searching, but fortunately, a friendly bespectacled guy approached her and asked if she was heading to the cafe to play the game. He shared his thoughts on the game, and Akane politely agreed, confessing that she was still a novice. She also mentioned how Yamada scolded her for her mistakes in-game, but their guild master helped her out. As they neared the cafe, Akane spotted Ruri waving at them from the other side of the street. Yamada was standing nearby, conversing with an elderly gentleman. Akane greeted Yamada first, 
then eagerly greeted the girl she thought was Ruri-chan. However, she soon realized that the girl was not like her in-game character, and someone named Ida had to introduce her to the real girl who resembled Ruri-chan's in-game persona. This scene depicts a flashback from Yamada's perspective, recounting the first time he met Akane. He found himself helping a drunken woman to his room as he was unable to carry her weight. He then logged on to his computer to join his teammates for their training session, but mentioned the woman to his teammates, which aroused their curiosity. Some of them even asked Yamada for pictures of her, but he refused to provide them. While his teammates continued their chatter, Yamada overheard the woman's murmurs and went to check on her, offering her water. To his surprise, she broke down in tears and hugged him tightly, pleading with him not to leave her if he didn't love her. Yamada was confused by her conflicting emotions and struggled to understand them. Despite feeling drowsy, he stayed with her, trying to comfort her. However, she suddenly vomited, interrupting his thoughts.